to the channel. Those of you who are current subscribers, thank you for returning. Newcomers, go ahead and push the red subscribe and join the family. Today, I'm going to make something that's going to keep you satiated or be a snack, but food that you can eat when you're getting hungry. This is something that you can add to each meal. It'll add maybe 100 calories or less, but it will keep you full. If what you're eating on your weight journey is not getting you full, this right here is guaranteed to keep you full. Okay? And what it is, it's going to be some pinto beans. You can use pretty much any kind of beans you'd like to use, but I'm going to use the pinto beans. And you can buy these already done like this in a jar. But what I do is I take these beans. We're going to open them up. And we're going to pour them into this colander. See this? Pouring all these beans into this colander. And then we're going to take and we're going to rinse them. You don't want to keep that juice on them. You want to rinse them. So we're just going to rinse these beans real good so any salt or additives or anything like that that was added, we can rinse those out of the beans, okay? So you're just going to rinse these off really good, and then after we've rinsed these off really good, we're going to pour these into the pot, okay? So these have been rinsed really good. We're going to use this pot. We're going to get ready to pour these in a pot. Okay, we got a pot here that we're going to use. Let's go ahead and rinse this pot out. Okay, we rinse that pot out. And we're going to put the beans that we've rinsed thoroughly in here. Okay? So we put those in there. And now we're going to take and we're going to cut us up some onion. She's just going to get that onion. And you're going to cut that up. Okay. Okay. Get that skin off. And however you cut it up, it's up to you. You know, if you want it very small, bigger, more prevalent, it's just to preference. Okay. Okay. So. Go ahead and put this onion in here. Now remember, you can add a little teaspoon of baking soda or some celery to this to keep it from causing you gas. And sometimes I even put a little ginger because ginger is good for digestive things and stuff like that. And that will keep me from getting any gas from the beans also. Okay, so we're just cutting these up and putting this onion on in there. Okay. Okay, so that goes right on in there. Now we're going to take some salsa. You can use any salsa you can, preferably fresh. This is Creole season. We don't want but a little bit. Okay, maybe a half a teaspoon. Just enough to get the peppery seasoning from the Creole seasoning. Okay, and then we want your garlic powder or fresh garlic. Either one. Now, if you like a lot of garlic, well, have at it. Okay. With this salsa, we only have a small amount. We're just going to use maybe, I would say, uh, half a cup or a fourth of a cup. And we're going to add that to it. If you don't have any salsa, you can just cut up a tomato and put that in there. And then now that we have all that in there, we're going to get a bottle of water. at least a, a half a bottle or so of water to the mixture. Okay? So you're going to pour that water right on in there. Yeah, go ahead. We'll go ahead and add the whole bottle. Okay? And then we're just going to Mix this around real good. And put this on 
a low temperature to cook really slow and low until these beans get really tender and then I'll show you what to do to make them start getting nice and creamy okay so put these on the stove and we're gonna put these well we're gonna put them at a high temperature at first and get them to come to a boil and then we'll turn it down to a simmer so I want to go ahead and put the top on this and let this okay these have been brought to a boil you can see they're nice and creamy and now you can just turn them down very low yeah and be mindful this is electric so it's not it takes time for it to cool down so you make sure you stir in this so you don't burn your beans okay and then we got a few more minutes see how creamy that's gotten what you can do is you smash up some of the beans that are in here to go into it and that's what makes it so nice and creamy and have not a watery consistency but more of a creamy consistency you just smash up some of those beans okay all right and these beans are done now remember this can be on your weight journey also because these beans you have to count maybe like a hundred calories for a small bowl like this will be about a hundred calories okay but this small bowl with each one of your meals is what's going to satiate you really well. So if you're like me and your person has a hard time getting full, you might want to make this little bean thing mixture for yourself also so that you will feel satiated when you're eating. And anytime you get hungry or anything, just grab your bowl of these and that'll take that hunger away. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.